Well, hello guys. Hello, hello, hello. I'm back for the 10th uh, video of the day. I don't know which order they'll uh, come out or uh, come in. Uh, I have to say, it takes me ages, okay? You've got to record a video, choose the subject, and then you've got to record it, and then you've got to edit it, and then I've got to do the looking back section. Uh, then you've got to upload it, which can take uh, an hour sometimes, even for short videos. Uh, and yeah, so it's a, and then search for a title and all like that. Uh, so it does take a, a lot. Usually I would record 10 videos in a day and then I'd wait till the next day uh, to, to get them up. But I think, oh, it's just best to start uploading them now <laughs> so you can see them all. Uh, but anyway, thank you uh, for uh, your uh, dedication to me, okay? I have to say I am absolutely stunned at the amount of new subscribers uh, I got. I just can't believe it just can't believe it so i thank every single one of you okay every single one of you and like i say if you've subscribed today or yesterday or whenever uh please let me know and i'll send you a nice warm welcome okay uh anyway so yeah we're gonna look at uh the uh is king charles gonna get coronated okay a lot of you keep asking me I know last uh, year and the year before, I've, I've always said, I've not seen him uh, as uh, king. But then, be, you know, Queen Dad has become king and now he's going to be officially uh, anointed. So we'll, we'll see. Okay then, so uh, will uh, the king's coronation go ahead on the 6th of May? Okay... I think the royals are in for a, a, a hard time, you know. I, I feel like you've got groups here uh, protesting. Uh, I hate to, to say that, but I, I do. See, the Ten of Pentacles is, you know, a, an established uh, family or even, a you know, a routine uh, of something. Well, I don't see that at all. I feel like they, uh, their families are loggerheads, okay? And it doesn't mean to say that it's just Harry and Meghan. I just feel like, uh, you know, there's the something. I don't feel it going so well, you know. Will there be pro uh, protesters, uh, you know, shouting for the abolishment of uh, the, the king? Yeah, they're working with others, okay? Uh, three of Pentacles. This is something that's organised, um... And as well, though, people are going to see it on the world stage. They're just going to try and, uh, you know, r ruin it. Well, if I was in that coronation uh, <laughs> queue, uh, you know, where they have the barricades and you're all there for like two days camping out and everything to get that place, uh, and somebody behind me was, uh, you know, shouting off all things, well, I wouldn't be able to hold back. I'd tell them. I'd tell them, you know, shut the F up, uh, okay? If you can't be happy, sod off. Uh, that's what I would say. So I, I do feel like um, a lot of you will do that as well. Oh, but it's, you know, these people are paid as well, you know. Uh, these people are paid. Of Harry and Meghan, you know, a, you know paid anybody. Uh, to come and insult the king at his coronation. Yeah, but I tell you who they're gunning for. They're gonna go for uh, Camilla, I think. She's blonde, isn't she? So you know, and I do get her quite as a, a nurturing. She's got good intuition uh, as well. Um, so yeah, I do. Ah. Oh. Has Meghan or Harry any part to play in the protesters? Well, there's one thing. I feel like a, a, a man is like the head of it all. Okay, so you're going to get like a an MP speaking out or a Republican and... You know, uh, I, I just feel like this is organised, okay? So I'm getting the king and queen here, but they, it's as if, uh, you know, William especially knows what's going to occur. Okay? It's as if they've been tipped off in a way, so they'll be uh, quite prepared for it. But I, I'm also getting, you know, difficult seas uh, to, to navigate.
Why are protesters going to try and ruin? Now, what do the protesters want to achieve? Yeah, the downfall, you know, the downfall of uh, their monarchy. They want rid of it. Um, and I've got, like, something startling, something shocking uh, that happens uh, on, his, uh, on the day. Uh, I just get, like... I don't know, aside from setting fire to yourself, I don't know, you know, I can't think of anything more shocking, but there is something uh, building and there is something shocking. I don't even know if they're trying to, like, climb the, the walls and stage a protest. I see, the like, a castle with the walls, uh, very medieval-like, and uh, I just feel like uh, that's happening uh, as well. How will Charles feel on the day of... Uh... <clears throat> How will Charles feel uh, on the day? So will Charles get coronated? That's what we want to know. Will he? You've got blockades here. You know, you've got blockades as if, like, definitely a, a hampering. Definitely a hampering. But I'm also seeing that uh, Charles isn't feeling too good neither on that day, so... You know, this could be a, a lot of nerves and uh, stuff. I know he's been waiting for it a, a lifetime, but, you know, I, I'm getting something truly awful here. Like, people tying themselves up to stuff. What will stop, you know, what, what could stop Charles from not being coronated? Uh, people getting all upset, you know, people uh, causing upsetment uh, as well. When it's uh, the Three of Swords upright to me, it's like a painful situation, you know, grieving, tears, uh, grief. But when it's like this, it's like disruption, okay, and it's to upset somebody. It's intentional, uh, and this is pretty awful. Are these two cards, Kate and William? Oh, they are. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Something specifically uh, aimed at these two. And you've got the son, the son of the, the king, the son of the king. Oh, this is uh, I'm not liking this, are you guys? At all, I'm not liking it. Does Harry know of any impending doom uh, planned for the coronation day? The tower card twice. I think Harry, you know, will say, well, you'll have to uh, put up with it. You, you deserve it. You've done this, you know. Uh, this is what you've done. He, he's, he knows of uh, an uprising and a downfall. Uh, people wanting a, a downfall. So I think he uh, is uh, part of it in a small way. Which I mean is that, you know, he's not physically there tying himself to the wall or anything, gluing the hands uh, and this, that and the other. How will the freaking uh, people... You know, how will uh, the people who were there to support uh, the king, how will they react? How will they feel? They love uh, the royal family, you know, they, they love. So they're going to show it by being happy uh, and, you know, uh, chanting things that are positive uh, to uh, King Charles. I think to, to try and drown out uh, the, the noise in the background, that is very clever, very clever of us. What do we need to know about the coronation and the king that we don't already?
Oh, I hate to say it, guys. I think he's going to feel humiliated. Uh, I really do. And I think there's the mistakes that have been made in the security detail um, and that these people have been uh, uh, allowed in. They get very close, very close to the king. It's as if there's an outpour uh, of love. Somebody's made a, a terrible mistake. Somebody's made a, a terrible mistake. How, so how will William feel on uh, the coronation day? Pretty sad. Pretty, pretty sad, you know. Uh, it, it's like... These bat rotten eggs, you know, rotten eggs, uh, I just feel, uh, it, it's not the day that, you know, they should have uh, been able to remember. How will Kate feel about uh, Charles's coronation? I'm asking because I want a flavour of what they're seeing. So it looks like Charles has been, uh, you know, uh, accused of something and it's lies, you know. Uh, it's a, an injustice. I also feel like uh, there's a bit of law breaking here, so the police will be busy, uh, you know, turfing people uh, away. Uh, and it's just not, you know, it, it's not the way that it should have been. But I'm also getting like somebody's lying. It's as if it's all coming on top for the king, for uh, William, and for Kate. Will the coronation be called off or cut short due to security fears? No, but I just feel like people are getting too close, you know, to like uh, the castle or a uh, palace, a royal palace. This is caused by, you know, I'm going to say not family, not family. This is caused, you know, people just give uh, a little bit and, uh, you know, you psychos of this well just take it uh, to an extreme, okay? So I kind of feel like because of a situation that maybe, you know, the uh, King, Camilla or, you know, uh, William, Catherine, don't feel like they're safe at home. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I did say this would be uh, ruined. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Give us a blessing. Uh, give us a blessing for the day, please. Give us a blessing uh, for the coronation. I just feel like the partners of uh, the king and the future king uh, will be there uh, to to support them no matter uh, what, no matter what. I'm getting the lovers here, so like a, a dividing uh, thing. The the blessing. That is rough at first. It's rough at first and then improves, okay? Uh, so hopefully uh, these idiots will be uh, cleared out, but they'll be from all sides. Uh, and, you know, you can't just judge them how they look and this, that and the other, or their accent, or uh, even um, where they come from, or what colour they are, or this, that and the other. You will not be able to tell who are the smiling assassins. Until the re rear, uh, the ugly head. How will the police deal with this and uh, the security? Yeah, I'm getting, uh, you know, the police are going to get slagged off uh, as well for how uh, they deal with it. They'll uh, allow so much, but, you know, um, I think the police get uh, slagged off uh, as well, you know, for not handling it correctly. 
Now, whether that's a mistake in the detail of people shouting out or actually, you know, how you deal with these people or do you just let them continue, disrupt it everywhere? I mean, for God's sake, you know what I mean? It's a public order offence. It should be anyway. And if you are insulting our king, I tell you now, if they'd have been in years ago, you know, century or a hundred years ago, they'd have been off with the heads, off with the heads, you know, they absolute, I don't know what the world's coming to, they show no respect, you know, there's very little respect for uh, the, the royals or any authority, uh, you know, so yeah, that's not going to go down uh, to... Uh, Is the fault coming from within the inside? I don't think it's coming. Is the fault lying with people, uh, you know, arranging uh, the security uh, coronation? Yeah. Look, they're, you know, they've been put up to this. They've been put up. I wouldn't... Uh, this is groups. This is organisation. They don't want you to have a, a fun time. Uh, you know, it's been going on and planned uh, for, for months. Uh, and I tell you now, I don't even recognise this body or group of uh, people. They're not official, OK? But I also get, as well, people inside the Royal Palace. I think there's uh, more to this uh, than meets uh, the eye. Somebody in the Royal Family is uh, up to no good. And I know you're going to ask if it, it was Harry, but, you know... How will Harry feel uh, about... Uh, his dad and it, all the royals getting slagged off and ruined on uh, the coronation day. How will he feel? I think he'll be quite happy that it hasn't gone to, to plan in the way that they thought, you know. I mean, Harry, you know your dad's been practising this every year, uh, you know, behind the scenes. Uh, and what he was you know, looking forward to, and you're trying to wreck it, just trying to, to wreck it, so I, I do feel that, but, you know, and I do feel like his, his money is kind of responsible uh, as well, what's a bloody carry on, what's a bloody uh, carry on, do you know what, I hope 10% uh, are just the pain in the ass, and you've got 90% of good people, you know, being respective, Um. And that you drown out the noise of the idiots, okay? But you've got a fight on your hands, that's for, for sure. Oh dear, that's not what I uh, expected whatsoever. Things don't go to plan. Maybe, you know, uh, Harry thinks, oh, well, I only wanted them to do so much and they've gone too far. You know, maybe they've gone too uh, far. Okay, guys, anyway, uh, I'm sorry to be uh, the bad news uh, of the bearer. I know, I know. Everybody else says it'll go real well. <laughs> I know they do. But I'm not taking notice of them. I'll listen to these, okay? So, uh, sorry about that, guys. And uh, I'll be back soon with another reading. Bye now. Bye-bye.